the last night of his life, of many lives. This is Salman Abedi. The picture shows him on Monday. He traveled from the flat where he assembled the bomb towards suicide and slaughter. What did he use? Something to get off. Some kind of explosive tape, I think. Behind the pacing police officer and the boarded up doors is another flat where he's suspected of preparing the device. The debris from the police raid almost cleared, the smell of chemicals almost gone. This is the 12th floor flat rented by a baby for 12 weeks, his pop-up headquarters seen from a neighbor's window. I've seen uh, a lot of forensics been happening, I've seen uh, a lot of um, people going in and out, they've been carrying a load of bags, files and whatnot, and um, yeah, just, just been, there's been 24 hour police guard there since. There's plastic residue on the walls everywhere. Um, I saw the doors hanging off the hinges before they was boarded up. Um, and yeah, they've been blue, blue, blue wide open. Wednesday evening, as police prepared to raid the flat, a drone overhead, sirens in the distance, more officers arriving. And after three days, police are still there. Of all the homes raided, this is among the most important to investigators. Moss side in Manchester this morning, another police raid filmed on CCTV. Officers emerge from either side of the van. The door smashed open after two strikes. 20 minutes later, a suspect was taken away. The man wearing shorts, a black top and handcuffs. He's casually led past the police tape and into the vehicle. And then we just saw police just at the top of the road. Um, Literally and, screaming, and police. please, please, please. And then they just, they just took someone away. This investigation is on a scale rarely seen in recent years. Bomb disposal units deployed again today. Officers studying the contents of the boot of a car. What looked like laptop batteries taken away and tested. There are now a thousand officers working on this case, but many more pieces of evidence still to be studied. It is only day six of this investigation and there is plenty more work still to be done. Rohit Katru, ITV News, Manchester.